What's up, guys? Day eight of Vlogmas. I just woke up. I didn't just wake up. I woke up a couple hours ago. We're ready to go eat. And before we go, I want to show, want to show you how much snow we got here in Fayetteville. Just look at this. Yeah, none. None. If you looked at the weather, if you looked at the weather like uh, a week ago, oh, you're so strong, Xander. Brought that all the way back from the back, didn't you? Yeah. All those towels. Anyway, if you'd have looked at the weather like three days ago, it was like five, three to five inches, ice, snow, sleet, and then if I looked at it last night before I went to bed at like midnight. 10% chance, and now they've got up to 70 for this afternoon. I just don't think we're gonna get anything. Just, I don't know, a bunch of idiots. So now we're about to get out for the day, not do a ton, just go eat, go to Walmart. Um, I won't have this in the Walmart, but I'll have, I need to get, that's what I need, I need to get a pop socket. I need to get a new pop socket. Did you make this mess? What? Did you make this mess? What mess? I vacuumed this morning. Doesn't look like it. Ow. What mess? Angers. What mess? I don't want to be filmed for getting mad at you. I know, that's why I'm doing it. See, if I show you on camera all the time, then I'll never get in trouble for accidentally dumping out the, uh, the, the fire. It was wood leftovers. Hey, Dad, did you make a mess in the kitchen? No, I don't think so. Does it look like it did? Yeah. Do you think I should clean it up? Yeah. When, do I need to clean it up now or when we get home? Well, we get go home after... Is that a good choice that Dad should make? Yeah. What would be a bad choice? Dad, clean up it and wash the so I will slip on it. Did you fall down? What happened? Xander, what happened? I'm okay, but when somebody walks on it, so I fall down. Oh, you stepped on my mess and fell down? Yeah. Oh, okay, so I should clean it up? Yeah, that's why you should clean it up. That's so my will slip. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll clean it up so nobody will slip on my mess. All right, restaurant and Walmart. Here's a cake with our KFC cake. And an arm. And an arm. And that's an arm. Is there an R beside it? No R. It's on the other arm. Okay, so apparently one of Brittany's big pet peeves with me is that I don't put the toilet seat down and it makes it harder for her and her pregnant self to lift it back up and have to bend over to use the potty. And so I think that I found the most efficient way for her to put, use the least amount of energy to use the bathroom every night. But she still doesn't like that. So we're going to do the three options and you can decide which one would take the least amount of energy. What? Tell them, tell, okay, tell them what you did. 
I pee peed in the potty. All right, so he just got done pee peeing in the potty, so he's pretty excited. We are too. Anyway, so three options. First one, like she wants, both of them down. So they're both down, and let's see if you think that retires much in the. Let's see if you think this requires the least amount of work to do it. See, my, my suggestion is, she because she walks in, she has to bend over to lift them up. That doesn't, that doesn't save her any energy. She has to bend over to even start, okay? What I normally do is leave the bottom one, I leave the bottom one down and the top one up? I leave all of them up. Okay, I leave all of them up. I leave all of them up. And I think that's more efficient than the other way. No, and it's gross. Because she now, all she has to do when she walks in, she doesn't have to bend over at all. Here's what she has to do when she walks in. She just goes. Look at that. Did not bend over at all. Fit right down. That's I'm, not good for the toy. I'm good. Didn't have to bend down at all. Now the last option is like this, where you leave I would just leave the middle seat down, and so then she would have to put it down or up and just leave it. So I think I'm just gonna leave that middle seat down and be good. That's my argument. Uh, not a lot today. Built fires, went and went to Walmart, went to Grubs. Got no snow or ice or any weather at all. It's like the easiest job to have and never have to be right. You know, just be a weather person. As long as you're personable and people like you on camera. You have a job forever. Regardless, we'll see if anything happens tomorrow on Sunday. Probably not. We'll see you then. Deuces.